My first kiss went a little like this And twist And twist But well, my first kiss went a little like this Hey guys, so today I'm here with my friend Trelly Say hi Trelly Hi everyone <laughs> Hi everyone <laughs> Trelly and I are here to tell you guys all about our first kiss stories because who doesn't love a good romantic first kiss story? Romantic. Ours are definitely romantic. <laughs> <laughs> I will start with my first kiss story. It was, how old, what, freshman year? No, sophomore. Okay, so I was in sophomore year. I had never dated a guy before, never kissed a guy before, obviously. <laughs> um, yeah. First year of high school, um, I did not talk to boys. Boys were terrifying. Second year of high school, I had study hall and gym. I think, yeah, study hall and gym with this guy named Michael. I hope I remember everything right. Um, so I still remember we had, yeah, that's right, we had driver's ed together and Lakshmi was in that class too. And I remember Lakshmi and I were talking and then Michael came over and I never really knew him before, but he like introduced himself and he kept like talking to me and Lakshmi was like, what? She's like, I think Michael likes you. And then I was like, oh, really? And so then we like talked in driver's ed and study hall. Yeah, we had study hall together. And homecoming was what, a couple months into school? And I remember really thinking he was going to ask me to homecoming and then he asked another girl and he told Ooh, me. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was like, he's totally going to ask me to homecoming because wow. that's what I thought. I thought that if there was a guy that you talked to, he was going to ask you to homecoming. Always. That's not how high school works. It's the guys that you don't talk to <laughs> that ask you to homecoming. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> anyway, fast forward to literally May of the same school year, we talk every day because we have a class together every day and we just talk, hang out, have a good time. I'm pretty sure that I had a crush on him like almost the whole time, I think. Pretty, pretty sure. But he like went through a couple different girlfriends within that oh time. He had like five girlfriends. <laughs> he is constantly dating someone. Always. And so he'd go through girl after girl Still. and he would always have a thing for a different girl. Um. And then May rolls around, and it's my birthday, and he got me something on my birthday, which was so sweet. Was and he got me, he got me the necklace and the chocolate, so much chocolate, the chocolate was really good. And, yeah, I remember being so happy, and we hugged, and it was all, like, nice and sweet, and I was all happy, and, but he didn't ask me out, and I was like, why is he not asking me out? And so then I went and I talked to like, I think it was Grayson about it. Grayson? I think it was Grayson. Yeah. I was like, Grayson, I was like, why has he not asked me out? And Grayson was like, do you want him to? I was like, yes. And so then oh literally in the breezeway, I see Grayson go over to Michael and tell him that. And then Michael wow. looks at me. That is high school. So the next day, Michael and I are talking and... It was so weird the way it <laughs> I'm really bad at ru ruining things that should be like romantic moments just because I'm really impatient, I think. And so I was like, Michael, I was like, are you going to ask me out? And he's like, I have to get permission from Dan, who's my older brother. Oh my God. And I was like, no. I was like, no, you don't. And then we were like, are you... You asked him if he was going to ask you? I'm pretty sure that... <laughs> I, was like, I was like, what's going yes. on? Something like that. <laughs> um... So do you like? I think that's how, and then we went up the stairs to, because we'd always walk to all of our classes together and hug and everything, um, because that's high school, you walk each other to classes and hug. I still remember it was the hallway by Miss Herbert's room, you know where Miss Herbert's room is? You go up the stairs and there's that wall there. By the gym. Yeah, but yep. it's upstairs. Mm -hmm. And so we were there and we were talking and I think somehow we came to the conclusion that we were going out and I just remember like, going like this, I was like, oh my god. I like just looked at him and I was like. I, I'm pretty sure that's how it was. And he was just like... <laughs> and it was this really quick, like, little... Ew. I don't even know if Michael knew that was my first kiss, but... Was it Michael's? No. It wasn't it was Michael's first kiss. Surprise, Michael. You were my first kiss. I waited for two weeks. I broke up with him over the phone. And yeah. But now we're friends. <laughs> and he says he's a better person because of me. So, you know. I have done my part in Michael's life. I'll have to get him on here for a video oh sometime. My <laughs> so my first kiss was with this boy named Adam. Um, I've known, I knew him in freshman year in my history class. I think he had a crush on me freshman year. 
and I didn't like really know him and then sophomore year we became better friends because of cross country. So okay. here's how it happened. So Adam texted me and he's like, hey, he's like, we're all going ice skating. And it was like this big group of people. And um, so we went downtown and we went ice skating and it was really fun. And we like held hands. It was like, I remember thinking that I was going to get my first kiss tonight. And I was like, oh my God, it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so, but it was so much fun just like skating around and like holding hands. And I was like, this is the life. I was like, this is so, <laughs> it was so great. And so then there was this like brick wall outside the ice rink and I went and sat over by it and I like messed with my hair and then I saw him and I like smiled. <laughs> and he goes over to the He literally sits like two feet away from me. <laughs> I was like, wow, I was like, I'm really cold. He like rubs my shoulder. I was like, okay, Adam. <laughs> and so neither of us had cars that time. Like we were juniors, so he had his license and I didn't get my license till like a long time later. But um so his friend Matt, like I was like waiting for him to kiss me on that brick wall, but it didn't happen. <laughs> And <laughs> and so then his friend Matt has to drive us home. And so we're driving in the car and he's like sitting back and he's like putting his like head on my shoulder and like we're doing this weird little awkward head thing. With Matt driving. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, wow. And you guys are just in the back. And we're just like Poor Matt. <laughs> and, so and so then we get to my house and I'm like, okay bye. And Adam gets out of the car. I was like, wow, and Matt's like, I'll just stay here. And so then we're like, I'm like on my front porch step and he's like taller than me obviously and he just like kisses me and then walks away. See ya. <laughs> Peace out. He's like, he's like gone. He's like, okay, bye. And then I walked inside and I was like, wow. That wow. Is <laughs> hey guys, so sorry about the awful quality. I'm on my uh, webcam right now, but Charlie and I weren't able to film a ending to the video because the battery died and I didn't have another one charged. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys found that video entertaining. It was so much fun to film. And yeah, let me know if you want a video with Michael because I totally could get him to do a video and it would be really funny. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching and yeah, bye.